welcome to the Nifty Scrapbooker. Today we're going to be teaching you a couple of tutorials. We're going to be teaching you how to use the templates from Kiwi Lane. We're also going to teach you how to use the custom cutting system from Creative Memories and how to use both of those things to create a great layout. So sit back and relax. We're going to be using the products from the April kit of Kiwi Lane Club Kit. And uh, we're going to be using these to create a, a new layout. So we'll be able to go over the, all those things today at the Nifty Scrapbooker. And welcome to another issue of the Nifty Scrapbooker. Today we're going to be showing you two different kinds of cutting systems. As you can see, I have my layout almost done on this page. This is my first page. Here's my second page. It is done. And uh, this is a kind of a love set. Um, it says, pieces of me, love this, love you to pieces, remembering the little things. Here's a little journaling box here in the bottom right-hand corner of this page. And you see I have it almost all done. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two title cards that came with this set. This is the April Kiwi Lane set. I took two of the title cards, and this one says, thanks for keeping me together. And you plus me with a little heart in the middle. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking the custom cutting system from Creative Memories and cutting this out with a circle. And then we're going to be taking this, this template here. If you remember, all, um, this was uh, my last video I showed you. This was the a la carte pieces of my heart one and two. And we're going to be using this on the other one. Um, the other templates that were on this set were this border here that you see, the least border. And then this puzzle piece and this puzzle piece are both templates on this set. So I've used all three templates on this set. And so let's start with the Kiwi Lane. Kiwi Lane is about tracing and cutting. So we're just going to put this overlap. What I love about their, their templates, and I absolutely love their templates, as you know, um, is they're translucent. So you, I can see right where I'm going to be putting this heart. And so we're going to, we're going to size this up so it gets the whole set there. Uh, my U is in there, my plus is in there, and if you see on the other half, we're coming right down the middle of this little heart. The me will be on one side, the U and will be on the other side. So we're going to take our pencil here, and we'll be starting with the first piece. And we're going to be just tracing around here, then we're going to be fussy cutting around it, all the way down. We're going to come around here, around this puzzle piece. Being very careful to stay close to the template so we can match them up. Okay, there we go. Now what I'm going to do with that is I only have to do the outside of this part. So we'll be coming around this heart because we've already done the middle where the puzzle piece section was. And there we go. We got our puzzle piece cut out. So let's take our template. We'll set that aside here. We'll get out my Fisker scissors that I love so much. And what I'm going to first do is to get some of the bulk of this paper out of the way, I'm going to be cutting the outside of the heart first. Now remember, when you're cutting, you want to move the paper, not your scissors. That will create a cleaner cut and, round, uh, and a, lot more, bet, a lot better on curves. And we're just going to... And it keeps you from catching your scissors on something if you just move the paper. Okay, and there we go. Right down to the tip. There we go. That's our heart cut out. And the back side of this, as you know, they're all double-sided. We have puzzle pieces, and that's what our whole thing is. So I could actually use this scrap. I might save this to use a little punch out to use... Um, on other layouts there. So you can always use your scraps for a card or something like that. Okay, so now we're gonna we're gonna go up through here, right through the center, and we're gonna make our cut here. Go around the other puzzle piece. I don't know what these are called on puzzles, but there we go. And right up the center. There we go. There's our two puzzle pieces. Now you remember, this is double sided, so it's white core paper. And what we're going to be doing with this, we're going to get out my Tim Holtz Distress Ink. This is a vintage photo. We're going to be inking our sides here. 
So we're going to just start with a side here and just eking this up. This will make it stand out. This will also make when I put the heart back together, it'll make them stand out from each other and show you that it's actually cut. So we're going to just go go in here and ink in this section. There we go around this side and ink in that there. Get that inked up. That's good. Now on these, I kind of do a swivel motion here with my, and that gets that, see how that inked up that really nice there? And go down this side. And I think I already got that side. Yep, we got that side. There we go, we got that inked up. Now let's go for the other side. Gonna come down here. Gonna ink this up. Takes those white marks off too, of where the scissors cut. And uh, we'll just rub it in there, get that side, there we go. Now we come out around the outside of our heart. So I've been using this Kiwi cutting system for a couple years now, and as you know, I'm a Kiwi Lane consultant, and I actually love their, prop, their, their, their product. And so there we go. There we go, that you and me together, okay? So let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and put this on our paper. So let's get our, our first page out here that we have. Get our tape runner out, my Scotch tape runner. And uh, we're just gonna put some tape on this. Let's pull this off to the side so I'm not taping on my product. We'll just put some. Oh, look at that. Ran out of tape right in the middle of the video. <laughs> That's okay, we got another one. Uh, we'll just go ahead and grab it here off the shelf. I think I did this in my last video too. I've been doing lots of uh, scrapbooking lately. So we're just gonna take another one of these. We will drop it right down in here. Whoops, if I can figure out how I got it out, there we go. There we go, right in there like that. And there we go. One tape runner refilled, refilled. There we go. Then we're gonna get, I'm gonna get along this side here and get this there, so it tapes down really well. And it, what I can do is I can just rub that right off my cutting mat. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna kind of put these together and I want this right up in this corner. So we're gonna go ahead and tape the first one down. There we go. I'm gonna tape up this other one. And get this edge here. There we go. And get this little, there we go there. And we're gonna lay that right in there on top of that. So you can see that's a puzzle piece because of that inking. You can see that's a puzzle piece, you and me together. Okay, so that's our first one. Now I'm gonna show you how to do, use the Creative Memories cutting system, custom cutting system. Now they have tons of templates. They have circles, they have rectangles, they have um, some gemstone set, uh, that are out. Um, let me just see here. Let me, let me catalog real quickly. Uh, this is the circle set. There's those three. Let's look at the catalog here. In this set, oh, circles, ovals, jumbo hexagon, rectangle, and gemstones, and a custom cutting mat. And as I showed in my last video, I got the red, green, and blue blades. So there we go. Now, what also comes with this set is a sizing template. And so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using the sizes. The sizes go from as small as one inch to six and a half inches. So that's how big we can get of circles with these three templates. So the inside does one, one and a quarter, one and a half. On this one, two, two and a quarter, two and a half. On the large, three, three and a quarter, and three and a half. Then on the small, it's four, four and a quarter, four and a half. The medium, five, five and a quarter, five and a half. And the six one, the big one is six, six and a quarter, six and a half. So what you do is we'll pull these off to the side for a moment. We'll get our graph, our card here, and we wanna see what will work. Now, one inch or one and a half inch will not work. It won't go over the whole thing. We'll go two inches, that's a little better. Even two and a half inches just gets in barely in that saying. But I wanna kinda of include some of these hexagons in this. So let's go over to the large one. Let's see, I think three inches will do that. That comes to the edge, right edge. So what this tells you is, this is the large template. 
There it is right there. The black on this frame here shows this is a large template. That's the inside and outside. And this blue three here means I use the blue blade. So what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taking our large template. We're gonna be fixing it on here. Let's get that on there pretty well. Get my paper set first here, kind of square it up on my temp, on my thing, custom cutting mat here. We're gonna be kind of, there we go there. We're gonna be taking this, remember this has a safety on it, it's upside down, so you pull that out, pull it over. This is goes around in a circle. We're gonna put those two posts in that groove there, and we're gonna be cutting. Oh, look at that, I got it too close. Oh my, what did I do? I wrinkled up my my saying. So, what? this was really close to this one here. Let's get this back here, let's see if we can get this finished cutting out. There we go. It's roughly cut it, so what, <laughs> you know, this is what I love about doing videos is like what happens if you make a mistake like that it was so close to the edge it, it grabbed the paper and uh ripped it a little bit and i got it, the rest of it cut out so what do you do what do you do with a mistake like this how do you fix this so what we're going to be doing is we're coming in with our scissors we're going to be rounding it out a little bit just a hair okay there we got that. Now it has a smooth cut all the way around. What we're gonna do with our ink, and this forgives all kinds of mistakes, <laughs> like pencil marks and stuff like that. So we're gonna be coating the edges of this with the ink, and it's gonna show up really nicely with this uh, beige background. And you know what, we might, well, let's see, if. Uh, let's do that. One of the things I thought of when I was doing this is why don't I cut around the geometric aspects of it? And make it look like it's more geometric cut out on the one side. So we'll just do that. Let's do that. And that will cut out some of our bent pieces. And there we go like that. See we go, there we go. And then we're gonna ink around that side too. Continue our inking and around the geometric octagons there, hexagons I mean. Hexagon is five sided, these are five sided. There we go, or hexagon is six sided I think. Um, and see that doesn't look like it's been damaged at all. See how we just made that disappear? And then we're going to be setting this on the other page. And I'll show you what I did with the other side, too, because I did a kind of a fun cutout on the other side as well. And so, let's see, we'll be doing this side, put some adhesive on there. And then I'm going to be adhes uh, making sure this adhesive is good there. That'll keep that corner where I cut out uh, taped down so it won't bother us. And thanks for keeping me together. There we go. There's our layout. There's our page. You and me, thanks for keeping me together. And our other page. I just wanna share what I did with this page. Um, you see this, this was a, this was a um, square journaling box. It has a place for a date here and it says, remember the little things and place for you to journal. So I took this and when I cut this out, I had what was left over, kinda of like this, you know, I had the heart left over and I laid it on here and traced it out. Then I cut it out and laid that red in there so it looks like this piece has been cut out of a puzzle. And then I did a corner rounder. Uh, we have actually a corner rounder from Creative Memories that I used to round the bottom edges and that's the top edge is square. So you could see the puzzle piece. So there we go. It's my You and Me page with a little bit of creative memories, a little bit of Kiwi Lane, and a lot of love. So there we go, there's our two page layout using the April um, Kiwi Club kit. 
And we'll see you next month with another uh, Kiwi, Cl Kiwi Club kit layout. And before that, we'll show you some other... I have another layout using this kit um, for this month. So you'll want to check that in later this month and see that. So we only have this week and next week, and then it's the end of April. So, and then we'll be into a new month of May. So um, I encourage you, as we're in this quarantine, to make sure you're doing some crafts and uh, pull out your pictures and your photographs. I know I'm getting ready to do something for Creative Memories, and I pulled out these wonderful beach pictures that I have of my kids. And uh, we just, uh, we're gonna be scrapbooking some of those on a great layout using the creative memories cutting system so make sure you i'll be telling you more about that as the days come see you next time on the nifty scrapbooker <laughs>